Come on. Connect. Connect, you bastard. Thank you. Oh, hey. It cleaned it, it, it itself. I mean, I get why the thing and and it does, but I just don't, I can't abide by the, the artificial things there. But yeah, everybody is, I think the big, yeah, the big difference is, is that it's the revision one, so Indianapolis doesn't have Eric Dickerson. Which makes sense because Eric Eric Dickerson threatened a fucking lawsuit over over um, his name being in this game because um, Dickerson was like pissed off at like fucking everybody the union the Colts well I mean the Colts were a hot mess back then so I mean you know why not but yeah but the thing I mean and that includes the fact that you got like Steve Largent and. Uh, Walter Payton in this game who were very much retired but and help by the time this came out in a Game Boy fucking Todd Christensen was fucking doing play by was was an analyst for goddamn NBC much less not fucking playing but I mean but the thing that is that makes it weird is that I mean and I played this, goddamn, almost two years ago now. But there was a Famicom release of this game that had updated rosters that reflect. Well, it it, it reflected closer to the, I think closer to the eighty, yeah, closer to the eighty nine season, or more accurately, maybe the start of the ninety season instead of the end of the ninety season, like uh, Tecmo Super Bowl did. I mean, I don't understand why they didn't bring that roster over. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it plays. With all that said, it plays the same. I mean, the layout's different because, you know, whatever. And the music's a little bit downgraded because, I mean, you know, Game Boy doesn't fucking have quite the sound channel. I mean, Game Boy is capable sound-wise. I mean, let's face it, the fucker pumps out some great music. But it's not quite as capable as the NES. There are certain... Oh, hey, look at that. I get the Raiders first. I get Wiener. I get the Wiener version of the Raiders. Because, of course, I'm going to use the 49ers. But, yeah, playbooks are the same. Praise. Well, you know what? Actually, you got a point there because 87, 87, they basically missed the, they meant the only reason they missed the playoffs is because the entire team refused to cross the picket line and to Buddy Ryan's credit, and I will, I am not a Buddy Ryan fan, but to his credit, he supported them all the way. But that's where his hate on for the fucking Cowboys started, because that the last um the last game before the strike, what happened is that the Cowboys they had a bunch they had forced a bunch of their players to uh, you know basically blackmail them you know a bunch of their starters into um into crossing the picket line and. They beat the shit out of the Eagles, and in fact, they run up the score. And yeah, and Ryan was pissed, and the Eagles didn't win a single game during that stretch. And they should have made the playoffs that year. I mean, but yeah, I mean, the Eagles not being in this is kind of a kind of a missed opportunity. I mean. I mean, but really, a lot of quality teams got got left out because I mean, the Rams. The only LA team in it is the Ra is the Raiders. The Rams weren't exactly 
weren't exactly terrible, and they got left out. The Saints were up and coming. They got left out. I mean, so instead we get Dallas, who was fuck awful. I mean, to put a to put a fine point on it. And Indianapolis, who was well, somewhat somewhat less than fuck awful, but still not still not goddamn great. Cause I mean. Washington makes sense. The Brownies make sense. The Broncos make sense. Minnesota makes sense. The 49ers make sense. The Giants make sense. The Raiders make sense. But yeah. But praise, you are right. I mean, you you are very much right. Philly really, by all right, should have made the cut. I mean, I understand why it had been years since they made the playoffs, but they were... They were up and coming. Up for 60s for Eagles and... Oh, wow. Same day for the game? Or is it going to be one on Saturday and then the Eagles game on Sunday? How do you get that? But that sounds pretty... I mean, pretty damn awesome. Sunday night Phillies game, then Monday night against. Oh, again. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. You, you picked a. You, praise, you picked a winner. Because, um, uh, what's his face for freaking Minnesota? Can't, can't goddamn win a primetime game for his life. Um, fucking, I, I, yeah, I'm, oh, Hertz is, I mean, Hertz should be making the step, a step up. I mean, it doesn't hurt that they, they definitely, their signings seem to be pretty solid in general. So, I mean, the Eagles should, should do well. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's it's just a matter of him growing. I mean, look at me. I'm a Pats fan, so I know about, you know, just putting the put putting together what, you know, what they have. I mean, Mac Jones, I mean, if he can grow from what he had in his first season, I mean, he can definitely be pretty decent. I mean, obviously, I know his obviously ain't going to fucking top Tom. That's, you know, that's a that that's a pretty much an untoppable thing, but yeah. Although God knows that until they win another, until the Patriots win, it, manage to cash it in. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> pretty much. I mean. I mean, he, he's not gonna, I mean, and it doesn't hurt, he ain't gonna quit until at least, he ain't gonna, he, he, I, I swear, he's going for that record, the oldest quarterback, or oldest guy to start a, start a game, and that was, um, 
That was Blanda in the 70s. He was like 46 when he had that stretch where he filled in for the Raiders. When when everybody, when all, you know, when he was basically their only option at quarterback because everybody else was hurt. <laughs> well, I mean, geez. I mean, come on. I mean, that was a hard-fought game, but damn, that fit. I mean, obviously, the Philly special was just, you know, that, that, you I mean, what can you say? You got one over on one of the finest defensive minds in, 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 in the game with, with that shit. I mean, I mean, besides, the Eagles, I mean, that was freaking... Oh yeah, it was good. I mean, again, it was. I mean, the pa the pass freaking. I mean, obviously came down to heaves, but I mean, they had a puncher's chance until the fucking very end. I mean, it was. I mean, and mind you, a lot of the modern Super Bowl balls in the past twenty years or so have been a lot more competitive than than most. Our, I mean, the first Super Bowl I watched that I can remember is Super Bowl twenty three. And I mean, and that's, that was like the rare one that was like, oh my God, it's a good game. Well, as opposed to most of them that were just boring or just complete disaster, you know, complete blowouts. Oh yeah, that one. That was the first, yeah, that game was the, that was the first Super Bowl after my father died. And it was like, I mean... Oh, oop. yeah, Kane. Uh, yeah, that's uh, probably should change that. See, I'm getting all wrapped up in the Tecmo that I forgot to change that. So well, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, let's give give Kane a uh, shout out here. What? <laughs> I really have no idea what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Oh, well. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, that, yeah. And it's like, but anyway, it's like, so that was the, yeah, that was the first, that was the first season after my dad died. And it was like, I was like, first off, the first half was so fucking aggravating of, the, of Super Bowl 51. It was just like, because, you know, the Patriots were sucking it up. And of course... I'm on my fucking phone and I'm following along on Twitter and ever because Tom's a fucking dumbass. Everybody's trying to dunk on the Patriots because you know fucking Trump and everything. And it's like, you know, so it's like so I'm getting super pissed because of that. And then it's like, I don't know. And the third quarter ain't much of a help till it was till damn near the end of it and it's like i mean just it was that last qu quarter plus was just so ridiculous and it was like after the game on the way way home i was like i told my mother it's like that game would have killed dad because my dad had heart issues heart issues it was like i mean it's like that game would have fucking killed dad that that, that that because it was so wild at the end he would have been pit. He he would have just been like, I mean, he would have been pit pissed, and then he would have gotten um. He would have um, gotten right into it as the Patriots were fighting back, and that it just would have been too fucking. It it was just crazy because my dad really got in the, in his later years, he really got in, into the Patriots, and it got really he really really super duper got in the patriots after my dad after my brother and i took him to 
uh, pa- the Patriots game at in San Diego at at the Murph, which turned out to be the last time the Patriots played in in San Diego, and I mean he he enjoyed the hell out of the get that game. It doesn't hurt that game was a good quality game, but he was just like he was like, I mean he, before he got the cancer that helped to kill that helped to kill him. In, in in 2016 he was um he was he he was very much looking at seeing a patriots game on the west coast i mean cuz he and and he had on his bucket list i wanted to see a game in in foxborough it's like but yeah this, i mean football is sporting events are just like the great the, you know, one of the great common denominators, especially the Super Bowl, because I mean, Super Bowl is usually the most watched TV event of the year, whichever year it's you know a thing. Although the irony is, is that as the Super Bowls have gotten better. The commercials have gotten crap, in my mind. But then again, I mean, that's just... Part of that's my jaundiced uh, opinion. All right. Oops. Here we go. Pick six, motherfucker. But this game's kind of interesting in that they were able to per- basically perfectly port the NES Tech Mobile right down to the passwords. I mean, I'm serious. The passwords for this are com- are the same that the NES game generates and vice versa. Oh, shit. Speaking of the go, it's fucking Jerry Rice. <laughs> Cause you know how they, you know how there are a lot of old timers that, you know, it, uh, Basketball is really rife with this, which is, I mean, in some instances, I kind of see their point. In others, I find it highly debatable. Fuck you, Carl! <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Um, but anyway, but, you know, but there's one that would just completely do like cartoon tech mobile numbers if he play if he was playing in his prime today it'd be goddamn jerry rice i mean seriously he would just i mean with the passing oriented offenses 
and you know some of the rules being a little bit um, a little bit tighter on uh, you know on DBs and whatnot rice would just fucking I mean it would be just just uh, absolutely unbelievable and he was already absolutely unbelievable, for God's sakes. Shit. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Kane. Not over yet. <laughs> he says as he's ahead forty two to nothing. Oh shit. 
Sorry, Bo. Well, it's the first game. It's only the first game of the cycle, Kane. The computer's a chump in the first game. Now, if we were in the Tecmo Bowl against the Raiders, Bo would be ripping my asshole apart. But in this first first game of the, you know, gauntlet, they suck. Not early in the season. The AI doesn't the AI in the Tecmo games doesn't start cheating till later in the season. Like for the Niners in, in Tecmo Super Bowl for the NES, the AI starts cheating when they have that matchup against the fucking Eagles. And the Eagles turn into goddamn super team you know, beyond super team. You know, fucking Cunningham, you know, runs a mile a minute and um, the defense just fucking slaughters you, you know. At this point in the season, the AI just like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. The AI decides to to viol the the Tecmo AI decides it's time for your ass to pay about halfway through the season. And if for some reason you're like undefeated or you know some other craziness is happening, you might as well just fucking, you know, bend over and enjoy the ride. Shit. <sighs> you get an interception. You get an interception. God damn it, Bo. Yeah, it's not a game against the Raiders if Bo doesn't break off fucking one. At least one. Right? Yeah. Can I do it? Can I go all the way? Yeah, no. Oh, wow. They're giving me all the fucking... All, all the superior teams first. Thank you, game. I will take all the good teams up front. Increase my chances of fucking domination. Oh, hold on a second, y'all. Ow. Goddamn chair. I hate this fucking chair. I want to go on record saying how much I hate this chair, but, you know, no job means no fucking cash for it. Needs to kill one. Yeah, but do you use the nose tackle dive? I mean, 
how do you, I mean, granted, it's relatively easy to get, get sacks, but, like, if you do, like, the nose tackle dive, you know, fuck, fuck, man, it's, it's all, it's all over. I mean, that's, like, the, the secret weapon of being, uh, of picking the Lions. It's like, yeah, you got Barry Sanders, but you got that nose tackle dive with Jerry Ball's big ass. And you're, it's, it's all fucking over. As the 49ers, right? Kane? Uh, well, you know. Well, I mean, come on. Look at what the 49ers were in 2020. Oh, never mind. 2020 is fucking... Yeah, I can't brag about that fucking patch season. That was a fucking... That one needs to go down the memory hole. God damn... Oh, I thought Craig was gonna fucking run out of bounds. But I presume it was, if I remember right, it was pretty late in the season. And again, late season AI is uh, prone to assholery. Kane, I hate to tell you, but 2020 did happen. It sucked. We're still feeling the effects. The plague is still a thing. And we got the new plague, the, the monkey pox. Yeah, sorry Kane, I have to I have to break it to you. We don't we don't spread fake news in here. Yeah, sure. Ronnie Law would totally get insta tackled by fucking Ricky Sanders after making a pick. Yeah, yeah, sure game. Oh god damn it. Mm. Sorry, Dexter. The roids can't help you. The roids and coke can't help you catch Jerry. Yeah, I went there. We all know what happened with Dexter Manley. All the talent in the world and fucking... Mm. Pissed it all away with roids and frickin', uh... Drugs? I do like uh, it, it is kind of it kind of funny how Washington in this game has a uh, freaking uh, Timmy Smith as the running back and that's only because uh, Timmy Smith had that big game in freaking Super Bowl 22. I mean 
Yeah, you can argue that's the big part of the reason why Doug Williams is the quarterback, but I mean, oh, let's be perfectly honest. Doug Williams was a pretty goddamn good quarterback. Not the most accurate, but he was goddamn good quarterback. And the worst thing that ever happened to his career was Culverhouse being a cheap and racist fuck that didn't want to pay Williams his due his due wage for being a wildly successful quarterback of the frickin' Buccaneers. Shit. Well, it was Daryl Green. I'll give it to them. I'll 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 accept a an interception by Daryl Green. Yeah, that's a Tecmo style, what can you say? I mean, it's especially crazy in this first game, though. I mean, it's not realistic. That's the thing about Tecmo Bowl. It's like, this. it's not realistic football, but it's it, it captures the spirit. God damn it. Well, I see a punt in my future. Unless I can get it to the main man. And I got it to the main man. Oh, God damn it. That was... That was fucking arrogance. But luckily, I'm up by two touchdowns. So... Unless I am dumb, I should be okay. Especially since, here we go, fucking punt. Beep, boop, boop, boop.
Hey, Sinistubber. Hold on here. Thank you for the um, few days late happy birthday message. Da, 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 da. Get that shout out. Oh, umbrella. Jail. Thank you for the follow. And that's pretty much it. We had today. Dr. Kush TV, Thunderfoot Bros, aka Sand, Compile Sugar, and Terry's Power of Motherfucking Possum, Tojiko San, Traz, I'm Borderline, um, and I'm missing anybody to call out their names, Repelicious, and so on and so forth. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It was a very fun and Well, my day's going pretty well, Sinistubber. My, my birthday was was on uh, Wednesday, but thank you for the wishes, birthday wishes anyway. Oh my god. Eyeball. Very professional, great uh, stream here as I pick at my itchy eyeball. Okay. Well, let's go here. Alrighty, let's make it a nice four touchdown lead. Alrighty, here we go. And how about a five touchdown lead? I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Up is good. Oh shit. Fucking board is not. Okay. Thank you. 
fine. Have your fucking field goal. Okay. Well, fine. All right. My score is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Oh shit. Whatever. Game's over. Racist lose. Mm. Well, that was my first wiener team. Ah. Thanks, Chris. Man, they can't even get a fucking good kickoff. I came real goddamn close to... <sighs> you know what, guys? I'm gonna take a slight break here. I need to get off this fuck-awful chair. I will be back shortly.
Okay, sorry about that extended awayishness. Oh.
poop. More poop. Hey Jerry, thank you for the b birthday wishes. It's uh, belated. My birthday was on Wednesday, but thank you so much for for the for the well wishes. Regardless, and I hope you're having a good evening here. Blah 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 blah. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, well, that, um, was poop. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Beat uh, Metroid 2 earlier and uh, chilling out with some Game Boy Tecmo Bowl. Well, Well, here kicks in that goddamn AI a fuckery that we were discussing earlier. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, y'all. Um, okay. Oh no. Miraculousness there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks for the follow. Okay, who is next? Miami. Oops. Dan, you're not a running quarterback. Okay, computer. And you fucking run up the gut? Yeah, yeah, AI. Sure, what the fuck ever. How poopy. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. Mm. 
Motherfucker. God damn it. Boo. God damn it. Shit.
Hot damn. Their re run defense is um, not defending.
All right, y'all. I'm going to call it a night. Next time, we will finish off this and then go on to the next scheduled game. Okay, come on. There we go. Right? Is that legible? Yes, that is quite legible on my phone. Because, let's see. Because how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we got way too many teams left. So, I know exactly who we're going to raid to, I believe. Let me make sure. Yeah. So... We are going to raid Proto Shield. He is currently trying to beat all three Ninja Gaiden games for the NES Deathless consecutively. Um, yeah. His PB is 7 2 in um, Ninja Gaiden 3, so he's like getting close, but I mean, it is definitely a fucking a hike especially if you know ninja guided 3 yeah or rather the u.s version and how hard that is but anyway thank you all for the support the follow all the other stuff that y'all did tonight and i will see you next time um i don't know when probably tuesday because I need to go to the post office and that ain't happening tomorrow because my body is beat to shit. So I'd rather rest up tomorrow and do that fun stuff on Tuesday and then do a stream on Tuesday night. So that's the current plan. Things may vary though. I will see you all later though. Thank you.